Hello everyone, my name is Casey, and I'm happy to bring you a second commentary. Um, really anymore, I've decided that all my videos, I'm going to try and bring a different kind of uh, video and message than most people. Most commentators will talk about the game and, and things like that. I want to kind of give out a message and and hopefully people can relate to it and pe people can like pick something up from it and, and, and gain something. Because I feel that um, there's not too much of that going on in, in a world like what we live in and in the society that we live in it can be really hard sometimes to go about and uh, not pick anything up from you know other people and I want to talk about hope I'm gonna read the definition of hope real quick and it is the feeling of what is wanted can be had or the events will turn out for the best now in my experience I'll use this two ways for the feeling that is wanted, that could be had, I would like good health. I would like to be happy and not have to worry about what's going to happen tomorrow. I would like for all the sickness in the world to go away, for all the bad things to just disappear. And, you know, without hope, it just gets worse. If you have hope in your life, and that's, you know, that's what you, that's what you strive on, that's what you live on, you know, you, you seem to never give up. That's what hope's all about. Um, never giving up, not even to the last second. You've got to hang in there. And um, that's, that's all I wanted to talk about, too. And you want, to, you want to hope that things can turn out to be the best. You know, regardless of what happens, you know, you, you, want, to, you want things to go out for the best. And I'll give you an example. Um, I don't remember the day that I submitted my commentary. Um... But my grandma's had so many surgeries, and you know, I've her, a lot of her problems are hereditary, and I, I that's how I've got all my sickness, and all my problems and stuff like that, whatever. Um, but the other day, um, like about a week or two ago, she was having oh, I would say two weeks ago actually, she was having some problems. Uh, she's been in the hospital, and she had just got out of surgery, and everything went well with the surgery, like we had hoped. Um, but later that night, she started having some complications, and uh, her kidneys failed, um, and they had to do dialysis, but unfortunately, it didn't really work. Well, at that point, um, we knew that it probably wasn't going to be very long until she passed away. And that night, about 9, uh, 9 p.m., uh, she left, and I, I knew that she was in a better place, and she wasn't in pain anymore, because um, she had lived her whole life. Uh, in pain and always had surgeries and stuff you know they honestly uh, when she was about 20 to 30 you know her problems started getting worse like mine are now but they didn't really know what was wrong with her I mean you know in the 80s in the 70s and 80s you really couldn't find uh, the answers sometimes because it, you know the medical medical equipment weren't uh, they ju it just wasn't there and now that you have all these uh, all these advances in technology, you can find some of those things. But still, you know, it, it isn't easy. And I know now that she's in a much better place and that she's happy. Well, you know, you can only hope for the best sometimes when it comes to operations and surgeries. We knew that um, there might be a risk. She knew that there might be a risk. Um... And that's something that I'm going to have to take forward and, and take for myself someday. I know that if if I have to have like some kind of a surgery or operation or whatever, if I don't have hope behind it, my chances of uh, passing through and that being a success is really, really small. Go ask any doctor if you have a life-threatening illness, such as cancer or a tumor, something like, you know, something that can actually lead to uh, death. If you don't have some sort of hope behind um, behind you and supporting you, your chances are so much smaller. So I think it's important to always have some kind of uh, backing, you know, behind you, some kind of, something that gives you hope, something that, that brings you happiness, whether it be family, you know, friends anything like that if you if you have a uh, more of a religious type of view on things and you look for that t for answers you know it, it honestly really doesn't matter just as long as you have hope in your life that's that's a good thing 
and I don't mean for this to sound uh, sad or anything like that. I don't want you guys to cry because I know a lot of you guys said that I made you cry in the, in the last commentary, and I'm, I apologize because that's not my intent. My intent is to try and get on a level with you guys that you can understand. Try and put yourself into these kids' shoes. Try and put yourself into my shoes. Now, I'm not anyone special. You know, just because I have things that are wrong with me that means nothing. You know, it, these kids that uh, we're we're fighting for these. You know, if you haven't seen the videos already on some of the, on the channel, on the page that you can donate, and some of the stories that you see are just like wow, you know. And you know what? There are thousands and thousands and thousands more of those kind of stories to be heard. And um, I just figured maybe if I could tell my story and get it out to you guys, that you can understand to better know what it's like to be grateful for everything that you have and I do know that you know now you guys uh, you guys have said so much like uh, you know you, you're grateful you're happy and you won't take things for granted and look at things the same again and that's good but you also have to make sure that you have hope in your life taking things for granted is a little bit different in this uh, in this concern but you know I, I don't know. Back probably when I was 13 to 15, I didn't really worry about the things that I, I worry about now. Now, I don't stress myself out with like health problems or what's going to happen tomorrow. And I know I, I have uh, family and friends who do. And, you know, to me, I just say everything happens for a reason. You can't get yourself down just because you don't know what's going to happen. You just have to hope for the best. You have to, you have to hope that everything is going to be taken care of and everything is going to be right. Because in the end, it doesn't really matter. You know, we're we're on this planet for a short amount of time. A hundred years, you know, is the most for some people. I mean, that's that's a max. I mean, it might be longer, you know, when I'm... If I get that old and I, I last that long, and, you know, I might live longer than that. Or my, my friends and the people of my youth might live longer than that. But we're, we're here too, too short of a time to worry about that. So I think if we have hope and we have something to live for, something to back us up and build on, we can uh, go about our daily lives and be healthier, be happier, and and be more successful. So I guess if I could leave you with something, hope is like the godfather of like healing and success. <laughs> uh, I know I'm missing a lot, and I apologize, but you know I appreciate you guys for watching. And I hope you enjoy this commentary. And if you have any questions that you'd like um, to ask me in my next video, I will answer all of them if I can, if I have enough time. But again, I thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye.